Hello guys, welcome back to CGI Made Simple. In today's video, I will show you how to create from a daylight scene, a night scene, night mood, with few quick and easy tips, uh, with adjusting a post-production, making light, simulating moonlight, and adjusting the HDRI a bit. Let's jump into it. So here I have the sample scene for European. Everyone has this when downloading and installing um, Unity. I will turn off the already made, the default post production here, and I will create a new post production profile by clicking in a here or here, right click, volume. Global volume and call it post production CGI made simple. Then, here we need profile. If you click on new, you can load one profile or you can create new. Today, I'll create a new one like this. It's taking the name of the volume, and here you can find in the project. Then, the next step is to go to the skybox that I'm using. You can check it in window, rendering, lighting, and then in the environment tab. You can see which skybox uh, it's used right now. I will duplicate it, just change the name. And I will apply this one here because I'm going to like this um, to adjust it. So, I, and I would like to keep my daylight skybox. Firstly, I would decrease the exposure like this, and I will leave it like this for now. We need to adjust few things simultaneously, or at least checking what is the difference at the same time, so we can have the result. As the next one, I will jump into the light. My scene, it's been lit via this directional light over here. I will copy it again and let's name it Moon. I will turn off the first one and grab the Moon. I will lower the Moon, let's say make it an 20 degrees. You can keep it higher as if it's high moon, but the most important thing is first to lower the intensity. Let's go for 08 and I will switch to the temperature and make the temperature bluish, something like 9000. You can add adjust. Uh, you can adjust the filter as well, and I would suggest it because if you copy and paste the previous one like I did, it's keeping the um, yellow tint. I'll do something like this. Let me zoom so you can see. It's imitating, let's say, a bluish light from the night sky or from the moon like this. Okay, I'll go back to the HD ray to the skybox and I'll just adjust the ground to something darker and the skybox tint since it's reflecting also a bit of light something like this. You can notice it here Uh, here is the time to mention that, of course, you can download um, free HDRI or paid HDRI from the website and just apply it. But if you don't have um, the knowledge where to find it or you just want to save time, you, you can quickly adjust this in Unity. Of course, you can adjust it in some other software like Photoshop, but here is super fast as well if you want to re reach, if you want to achieve faster results. Then. I'll jump into the post production and I'll start adding 
overrides. By the way, if you find something useful over here, yet a kind reminder, like and subscribe, support us on Patreon, so we can continue posting free content. Here in the post-production volume, I will add first white balance, and here under temperature, I will give a bit of um, colder bluish tint like this. You can adjust it according to your needs. I won't go super deep into detail, I just want to show you the overall principle. I will add shadows and midtones highlights, this override, where I'm going to darken the shadows and like this and make it a bit going into the blue. And I'm going to darken a bit the mid-tones, like this. Maybe going also a bit into the blue. Further on, I will add some color adjustments. Before going that, I, I want to show you here under post projection is the list with all of the adjustments uh, overrides that you can add. I will choose the, choose the color adjustments where I'm going to increase the um, contrast and this is more or less everything, this is the very minimum that you need. Nice to have is vignette since it gives a bit of intimacy to the scene. You can add it. I jumped into the game where you can see the effect of it. But I didn't press if you press play, the changes won't be saved, even though Unity added this as a final as one of the latest upgrades. But you can just switch between the scene and the game. If it's too much, you can lower it. But the vignette is nice to have if you like it and suits your needs. So now we have nice bluish night scene under the moonlight, like this great song, turned super fast and easy from daylight scene into a night one. If you enjoyed anything in the video, then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does. If you haven't subscribed yet, click below and join us. We have some great videos coming up that you don't want to miss. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.